You made it. Checked out of office to check into the sweet views of this place where the kids aren't asking for the Wi-Fi. Mom, can we go to the pool? And when you're with Amex, it's not if it's going to happen, but when. American Express. Don't live life without it. I want to advance my nursing career, but I can't stop working and spend a lot of money to earn a degree. My family and my patients need me. At WGU, I can earn a Master of Science in Nursing while juggling my busy life. At WGU, we hear you. That's why we've built a nonprofit online university around you. Here, you set the deadlines, you take courses on your time, and you take the tests when you're ready. WGU, the university of you. Learn more at WGU.edu. Your favorite band's about to play a sold-out show, and you definitely got tickets. And drinks. Now hurry and make it back to your spot. Pass this person and that person about 20 more. Ooh, watch out for feet. Hey. Just keep going. A little further. Oh, there's your friend. Over here. Right where you want to be. Close enough to see the set list. And they're definitely playing your song. When you're with Amex, it's not if it's going to happen, but when. American Express. Don't live life without it. I want to advance my nursing career, but I can't stop working and spend a lot of money to earn a degree. My family and my patients need me. At WGU, I can earn a Master of Science in Nursing while juggling my busy life. At WGU, we hear you. That's why we've built a nonprofit online university around you. Here, you set the deadlines, you take courses on your time, and you take the tests when you're ready. WGU, the university of you. Learn more at WGU.edu. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hollywood Improv Lab. Make some noise, you guys, in the right place for comedy. Thank you for coming out to another edition of Story Smash, the storytelling game show. And without further ado, let's bring up the creator and the host of Story Smash, the storytelling game show. Make it loud for Christine Blackburn. Hey, welcome to Story Smash, the storytelling game show. My name is Christine Blackburn, and we are so excited you guys are here tonight. Wait until you see who's on this lineup. We're going to get started right away and reveal the Wheel of Stories. There are 12 permanent topics on the wheel, and in addition, there's one space that says free. If the contestant spins the wheel and lands on free, then they can tell any true story on the wheel. There's also three spaces that say audience, and if the contestant lands on audience, then you guys have the opportunity to tell me the different story topics you'd like to hear, and our expert judges will choose one to be the story for the contestant. All right, you guys, let's get started right away and bring up our guest judges. All right, you guys, the first judge coming to the stage is a comedian and an actor and a writer and a podcaster and a musician and a professor of stand-up comedy at USC. You have seen him on the Larry Sanders Show, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Crashing, Legally Blonde, 50 First Dates, The 40-Year-Old Virgin, and Step Brothers. He was the head monologue writer for NBC's Late Show with Jimmy Fallon. And if that's not enough, he co-produced the Emmy Award HBO documentary, The Zen Diaries of Gary Shandling. Please welcome the incredible Wayne Federer! I'm already here. I'm already here, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Woo. Thank you. Hey, it's the last day of Black History Month. That's I've been, what I'm saying. I've been deep diving on Danny Glover all day long. <laughs> all right, you guys. This next judge, this is her first time on Story Smash. Now, she's an award-winning filmmaker, professional photographer, stand-up comedian, and podcaster. And her comedy has appeared on Comedy Central, NBC, ABC, Showtime. And she has a fantastic show that's available right now on Amazon Prime. And I watched it last night. It's called The Whole Story. H-O-L-E, The Whole Story. And it's about her very, very interesting life. I highly recommend you guys watch that. And here's a fun fact. This judge, at one time, won Star Search. Put your hands together for Felicia Michael! Hilarious lady. You guys, our final judge is an Emmy Award winning television writer and executive producer of the recently completed ABC's Modern Family, which just wrapped 11 seasons, if you can believe that. Uh, he also has a book out right now. It's called He Started It, and it chronicles his Twitter war with President Donald Trump. All right, you guys, he is a five time award winning, Emmy Award winning creator and writer, and he'll never let us forget it. Put your hands together for Danny Zucker! All 
right. This is Woo. so exciting. Danny, you've, of course, played dozens of times. Wayne, you've played several times. Correct. Felicia, are you excited to be here? I'm so excited to be here. I'm a virgin player on this show. Woo! You'll catch on okay, quickly. All right. <laughs> all right. Now, for Felicia and everybody that doesn't know, we're going to play three rounds of the game tonight. The first round, our contestants will come up and spin the wheel and tell a true one-minute story. And then round two, double the fun, they tell a true two-minute story. Then you guys have the very difficult task of choosing two storytellers to go on to the third round for a true three-minute story. Got it. Okay. Yes. Now, you're... I'm sorry. I'm... It's like... Tom Steyer just dropped out, and I'm a fucking mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys, we're judging on the ability of for them to stay on the topic. Right. We're judging on the story, and we're judging on the time. Now, the contestant will keep track of their own clock, but if they go over the time, they're going to hear this. No good. No good. That means the story's over. And we go right to you guys. Right Do they get penalized if they of go course, over? Of course, yes, of course they're penalized. Uh, you guys can keep score any way you like. <laughs> any way you like, nobody will see your score sheets. All right, oh, okay. Well. Okay. Seems like I can oh. see hers yeah, right we now. Can it's see all right. It's not big deal. Yeah. It's not well, big that's deal. Right. the storytellers. Uh, we also have an audience member who's going to come up to play the game. And this is never easy. So we'll be very kind to them, yeah? Never. Yes, yes absolutely. I don't think we will. Really? Yeah, yeah that, that's not kind. our job. We're judges. Yeah, and when the contestants come to the stage, I'm going to say, tell them what to do, and then you'll say... Yeah, this area has it. <laughs> you guys, man. It's just the three wow. words. You'll get it. Wow. All right, you guys. Coming to the stage right now is our first contestant. This person's coming up for a true one-minute story, and oh, boy, are we excited for this person she is a comedian and a writer and yeah. an actress. You've seen her on Days of Our Lives and in Pretty Little Liars. Plus, she hosts a show in the uh, Valley called the Trailer Trash Talent Review. It's a real variety show in a trailer park in Van Nuys. Please welcome the one and only Don Brody. Yeah. All right, you guys, tell her what oh, to I do. Know I know her. Welcome, I know welcome. her. Welcome. Real. welcome. And we're off. Oh, she lands on free. This is very exciting and in your favor. Yes. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm going to go with food. Food. Okay. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Dawn. Um, and I'm telling you a one-minute story about food. I uh, bake bread. Uh, I try to bake a fresh loaf of bread uh, every other uh, week <laughs> for my daughter because she is 19 months old and she is a bottomless pit of deliciousness. And um, I made a loaf of bread uh, last week and it was raw in the middle and I gave it to her anyway. And um, I'm fairly sure that's why she's had a fever for the last couple of nights. I'm not sure if that's exactly how yeast infections work. Um <laughs> I'm not actually entirely clear on how parenting works. Um, I breastfed her for the first year, which was easy because then that was all she ever ate. And then all of a sudden she grew teeth and people were like, no, you have to feed them other stuff. And I just put everything I find in there. And um, she's at home right now with a 101 degree fever and it could have been the bread. Don Brody. Okay, Don Brody. Right 55 on. seconds. Wow. Boy, right. not a huge response out like here. I know. I no, I'm, I'm going to try to say it again. Don Brody! Yeah. Woo! There you go. Uh -huh. All right, Danny Zucker. Um, so I lost a sister to undercooked bread. and uh, uh, Tough day for you. This is a tough yeah, day. I just, so just hearing about it, I mean, I guess, I guess some people find that funny. For me, it's a very serious thing. And uh, the more you know... Um, but uh, I hope she feels better. And that's hard to do a one-minute story on bread, I guess. She I'm going to be honest with you. I've seen you perform here. You've been fantastic. Uh -huh. That was just... And it humanized you for me. <laughs> Felicia Michaels. I, don't, I think people need to understand how fucking it is, hard it is to make bread. I am a bread maker, and you Whoa. people need to appreciate that this lady made bread. Yeah! Woo! Woo! All right. Um, what kind of bread w did you make? What kind of bread? Was it like uh, a sourdough? It, it was, it was uh, white bread, but um, I did make garlic rosemary from like a rosemary bush uh, uh, outside that I like, you know. Right. I do a thing. 
So you what fed her white bread with garlic and rosemary? Yeah. Yeah. Well, but no. it was, yeah. Have you thought about getting a goat instead of a child? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I sh- I Wayne Fetterman. They're adorable. Well, I was uh, mesmerized that anyone would cook bread because that's something we usually I usually buy sure. with money. And uh, <laughs> I can't believe the cost ratio to cooking it would be the same. But it's all right. It's all right. And I appreciate that you're uh, serving up uh, bread to your kids. So... Um, I I don't know. I just I just remember the, how old is your kid? Nineteen months. Nineteen months. Yeah. So was it still in the Gerber's phase? No, no. I mean, she's got a full mouth of teeth. Right, so I right, feel right. like <laughs> if she can chew it, she can eat it. Right. Okay. All right. Well, it sounded to me more like a parental abuse, but that's all right. Don Brody, let her hear it. You Don, guys. Don, I love it. Amazing. I've seen her do comedy. Someone, She's someone funny. had to break the ice. That's right. She did a great job. All right, you guys, coming up right now for a true one-minute story. This contestant grew up on the streets of Brooklyn, New York, and he started his cro- comedy career in New York City less than two years ago. Can you believe that? He's open for Jamie Kennedy, and he's performed at Caroline's in New York. Please welcome Geezer. Geezer. Tell him what to do. All right. Oh, I met this guy at the bar. It's a nice spin. Hooking up. Hooking oh, up. All right. The, the one I would have picked for you. The last time. <laughs> the last time I hooked up, it was obviously through a computer application such as Tinder. <laughs> and I want to tell you. The woman I was with was also rotund as me. And my goal at the beginning of the whole escapade was to hook up with her, but also learn about her soul. Yeah, and learn about what type of person she was. But then, I didn't appreciate it when I undressed in front of her. And she said, what? She said, I've never seen a micro penis before. Oh. And yes, and I told her, <laughs> yes, and I told her, having a micro penis isn't such a big deal in Okinawa, Japan. Done. Geezer, geezer, give it up. Come on, guys. Geezer. 58 geezer. seconds. Except for geezer and geezer. his little dick. That's right. He was well within the time, 58 seconds, so yeah. that was good. Yeah. He told there was a beginning and a middle and an end. Right, right. right. Wayne Fetterman. Well, I, uh, first of all, geezer, thank you for sharing. That's the first thing. Uh, secondly, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know. There is no second link. I just, I was just, I was blown away by the fact that you would tell that story. Um, I don't know what the the Japanese. Can you explain what the Japanese thing meant? That I was confused. What does that mean? You see, it wasn't meant to be racist or sexist. Yeah, tell me. It was meant to be both. Oh. <laughs> no, one or the uh, other. All right. Yes. Oh. Well, thanks for clarifying. Yes. Thanks for clarifying. Okay, Danny Zucker. <laughs> So, I, apart from this story, um, how did you get the job writing the jokes for Bloomberg? I was just <laughs> curious because... Like everyone else, like everyone else who got the job, I took it up to Tuchus. Uh, oh, boy, so you're doubling down. Yes. I, um, I'm going to let your story speak for itself. I think <laughs> Felicia has some insight into this. Felicia Michaels. Well, but did you guys actually hook up? Did yeah, you actually hook up? I swear to God what happened, you couldn't write this shit. Basically, <laughs> basically, she was a big girl, you, sir. and I'm a big guy, and literally geometry, physics, all of the things you've heard of in school, we couldn't connect because the bellies did not allow, maybe if I were well hung, maybe there would be some touching, but unfortunately. Oh, that's uh, sad. You couldn't, that get, made in. Me you couldn't sad. get in. I couldn't get in. Wow. Well, no your wow. mouth is not broken, right? I have a be- <laughs> Then shut the fuck up. <laughs> Geezer, let him hear it, you guys. Geezer. 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 Nice job. Nice job. By the way, Danny, you got a haircut, and it looks damn good, man. Yes. 
know. I I'm like trying. it shorter. I, thank you. I really do. I also drop five pounds. It's not yeah. a big deal. Is that right? Yeah. You look good, I mean, man. Yeah, I'm trying. You look good. I'm really trying. All right, you guys, coming to the stage right now. This contestant is a comedian who's appeared on BET, TV One, Viceland, and a highly lauded comedy special called That Bitch Better Be Funny. Please welcome Samson McCormick. Woo! All right, you guys, tell him what to do. Spin that wheel. <laughs> There he goes. I like the technique. I like the technique. Samson, a lot of pressure to name your kid this. He's thinking. He's like, I like this. Vacation. The tiger. Vacation. Vacation. Oh. It's got to be about the movie Vacation. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Um, vacation. So I'll talk about the last vacation I went on. Uh, so the last vacation I went on, I was one of the only black people at the place. Okay, like I was one of the only black people. And so, you know, I like different cultures. I like chilling, hanging out, whatever. Um, and I noticed they were checking me out. So this white dude came up to me and he goes, hey, bro, what's up? I'm like, what's up? He's like, you got any Coke? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm a Pepsi kind of dude myself, you know. <laughs> and he was like, no, bro. Coke. And I was like, no, bro. Pepsi. <laughs> so he was like, you don't got no Coke. I was like, no. He was like, what about Adderall? You got any Adderall? And I was like, Adderall. And then that's when it hit me that this dude thought I was a drug dealer. Now, y'all, I am not a drug dealer. But I don't turn down an opportunity to make a couple extra dollars either. <laughs> I sold his ass a Zyrtec for $20. Samson McCormick. Right on. Great story. Right Incredible. On. He landed right Dude. on 58 seconds. Good time. Excellent. And, and looking at him, I don't think he would have any trouble uh, connecting with a girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a handsome very man. Flat Definitely. Stomach, very flat stomach. Felicia Michaels. Wow. So did you vacation at Mar a Lago? Is that what was going on? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually in Vermont. Oh, okay. In where? Vermont. Vermont. Where is that? I don't know, but I felt like I was on Get Out. No. Vermont. <laughs> Vermont. <laughs> God, I love it. Like in Get right. Out. Yeah. It's in Vermont. Danny Zucker. Look, dude. Beginning, middle, end, punchline. I mean, classic storytelling right there. There you, you go. 58 good. seconds. Perfect story. I know. Right. I, I would have used the other two seconds to talk about your micro penis, but you can do it in the next one. <laughs> no, no, no. Please don't. He ain't got You're... no micro penis. <laughs> At, oh, okay. Anything we... else, Fetterman? No, no, no. I just I can't wait to go to Vermont and uh, <laughs> check out. Stay away. Samson Vermont. Cormick, let him hear it. Samson. Awesome yeah. job. Awesome job. Awesome Thanks, job. Samson. That was a great story. A lot story. of pressure. That, was, called that Samson, was a great right? story. Oh Biblical. Yeah. All right, you guys, coming to the stage right now is... Thanks, Rick. Oh, it's our audience member. That's very exciting. Oh. Uh, Jim Coughlin, come on up. Danny Zucker's going to pull out the I'm... audience num member's name. Oh, I I this is not easy, you guys. We're going to give him a big round of applause. No, it's, this is pretty easy. I just reach <laughs> in and... Who's coming to the stage? Read that name. Read that name. Okay. What is, is that? Chimeg? Chimeg? C-H-I-M-E-G? Chimeg? Is, is this, this her right here? Is her? Is this her? Like, come on. You, you don't want to do it? Oh, okay. You don't want to do it? Are you, is it you? She's passing. Pick another yeah. one. Pick yeah. another one. Pick another one. She's passing. Uh, oh. She's passing. Oh, wow. Chimeg, it's all right. It's no, okay. No, it's okay. You're saying, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Let okay. Me, there's plenty of names in there. <laughs> Chimeg again. Chimeg. <laughs> um, Can you? No. Uh, Natalia? Natalia. Wait. Natalia, you got to get up here, Natalia, Natalia, Natalia. Is she coming? Is she here? Is she here? I don't see anybody named Natalia. Wait a minute. No, that's a waitress. There she is. Is she coming up? Come on back here. Come on up. Come on. Come on up. All the way up. All the way up. Woo! Woo! Show on that court. All right, you guys, this is not an easy thing to do. Yeah. Can it move it a little well, bit? We got to like show here. Right style. Get excited. Oh, there yeah, we go. Why don't you guys tell her what uh, to do? She brought her drink. I love uh, it already. Wheel. Shemeg. Not Shemeg. Not Shemeg. All right, here we go. Shemeg really fucked you. Yeah, yeah. Just spin it, spin it. There you go. Okay, stop touching it. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. She's drunk. She's perfect. Vacation. I'm sure what she's happens? Been on do vacation. they have to do the same story? 
Well, well, uh, Tell Samson's story from your perspective. Yeah. <laughs> this guy in Vermont yeah. wouldn't sell me drugs. In Vermont. And I looked like a drug dealer. <laughs> go ahead, I'm sorry, go ahead. All right. Oh, my gosh. Vacation. Okay. Vacation. Um, clock started. Okay. So uh, a couple years ago, I went to Europe, and I was road tripping with my boyfriend, ex- yes. ex-boyfriend. Um, yeah, that, that's a whole other story. I was actually hoping I would choose the breakup category, but that would have been a better story. Um, so anyways, we were road tripping from, like, Paris to Germany to Austria to Poland, all over the place. Uh, we got caught speeding, um, so the police pulled us over. Um, I forgot what country we were in. We were probably in Germany at that point. Um, but they pulled us over, and um, they asked for my boyfriend's passport. So he gave him the passport, and he had to go inside the cop car. So he was sitting in the back like a fugitive, and he was in handcuffs. And uh, when he gave the passport to them, a $100 bill dropped out. <laughs> and I had forgotten that I put a $100 bill in there for him to pay him back for something. And as soon as the cops saw the $100 bill, they're like, okay, you guys are free to go. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah. yeah. What like a great was, story. I actually felt like that was a rim shot for the end of the story. Yes. <laughs> That's a Whoa. great story. I I did not think it was going to end that way. I wow. thought it was going to end with, like, they thought you were, you were bribing him, and then they take you off. That was great and right to time and yeah. for an audience member. Yeah. I think we can all say, fuck Chameg. Am I right? Yes. I mean, yes. I mean, Chameg. I'm Come just on. teasing. You're great. You could have. I didn't mean it. You Wayne Fetterman. No, I was just, that's the whitest story I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> like, I'm going uh, I'm through totally Europe. Sorry. Europe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was an incredible, entitled story that you just have to throw $100 bills around. We can all relate to that, you know, when you forget where you put a $100 bill. But uh, enjoy the wine. All right. Felicia Michaels. I just thought it was perfect from beginning to end. It had a beginning, a middle, an end. The structure was great. It ended exactly on time. Rim shot, like what everybody's saying. Perfect story. Perfect story. Yeah, right. I Thank liked you. it. I liked All it. All right, you guys. Natalia, let her hear it. Natalia. Natalia. Wow. We'll see you for round two. That was very exciting. An audience member just pulling it out like that. No, that's hard. And she, I want to hear her breakup story. <laughs> I guess she dropped, put her $500 credit card uh, gift certificate. All right, you guys. This is the last contestant coming up in this She's round. Wealthy. Uh, and this contestant, once a Catholic school teacher, oh. yes, this contestant was fired from her job after her set on Kill Tony at the World Famous Comedy Store. She performs all over California. Oh, and she's a regular at the Ice House Second her. Stage in Pasadena. Please put your hands together for Rachel D. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. All right, you guys, tell her what to do. Turn that wheel. I don't even think Good I need job. to sign anymore. I'm still amazed at uh, Natalia's keeping the hit wouldn't take her hand off the wheel. Oh. Oh. Holly Weird. The worst category. I know, right? Oh, fuck. Okay, so Holly Weird. I just moved here um, about a year ago. I moved here from San Francisco. and Thank you. San Francisco people? All right, you got out too. Cool. Uh... No, but okay, so the, the day I moved in, I'd never even seen this apartment, but it is at the cross streets of the Hollywood sign and the uh, Celebrity Scientology Center, right? Yeah. So very Holly weird uh, to begin with. And as I'm bringing in my boxes for the first time, I was greeted by a wise old black man in a red t- velvet tuxedo <laughs> playing a tambourine. <laughs> he said, welcome to Holly weird, <laughs> okay? And then I carried my boxes up to the third floor, and that floor smelled like weed and tears. (laughs) And then I was walking down the hallway, and my neighbor's door had a movable infrared camera attached to the outside, and it followed me, like, down the the hallway, right? (laughs) And that's the end of the story, I guess. Rachel D. Uh, Rachel D. Felicia Michaels. Uh, Well, Weed and Tears are the names of my sons. (laughs) 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 And uh, I wish you would have got to your ending, but uh, yeah, that no, a fun story though. Wayne Fetterman. I was hoping you were going to ask the guy out front uh, if you could buy cocaine from him. That was the first thing. (laughs) Samson. That's a little callback. 
But uh, yeah, no, that is uh, quite traumatic. But you're you're still here, and you still yeah. like it better in San Francisco. Yes. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, low I got bar, fired low bar, for the job low bar, low for bar. Kill Tony. Sorry about that. Oh, Danny no, Zucker. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like the whole Bagger Vance opening to that story. <laughs> Oh my god! I was thinking the yeah. same thing. I mean, yeah. I thought I thought it was good, but you you know you took it. I, I'm, it's 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 sort of like you know the way the Sopranos right. ended, where it just went to black. Yeah. Don't stop, and it ended yeah. like that's sort of what your story is. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna assume everyone in your building was shot. It's a but Sopranos. Good job. It's a Sopranos I mean, yeah. ending. Yeah, it's a Sopranos ending. Rachel D, let her hear you guys. Rachel D, yay, Rachel. Well. I think it's going quite well, don't you guys? Yes. Oh, my all God. Right. We're going to put all five names back in the bucket right now and shake it up. Is that a name? Put that in there, would you? Uh, okay, great. And uh, what? A, okay, this this round, you guys, it's a two-minute story, and so it's twice the fun, and uh, we're going to get to it right away. Go. All right. All right, you guys, come to the stage right now for a true two-minute story is Natalia, our audience member. Oh. Natalia. a 30 minute break while she makes her way to the front. Here she comes, Natalia! Not here yet. No, this is like giving the Lifetime Achievement Award to like Betty yeah. White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're yeah. sitting her in the back. Yes. Back. And the band is playing like four verses. Uh, here she comes. Come on, back no, up, Natalia! Take your time, take your time. It's no. Scary. I don't think she knew there was another round. The most entitled no. person I've right, ever met comes. in my life. Oh. <laughs> Tell her what to do! Spin that Please. wheel. Spin it hard this time. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. You're oh in the whole game. God. <laughs> Natalia, you're in the whole game. Yeah, and also save something for brunch and WeHo. <laughs> Pets. Yeah, what you Pets. Pets. Can it be a sad story? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You don't think the uh, <laughs> Sorry, pot and tear story was sad? <laughs> All right, pet. So I have two dogs, two white labs, Cooper and Duke. They're the loves of my life. What a shock. What a shock. <laughs> whiter and whiter. Right, and, whiter. <laughs> and I live in Calabasas. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, Cooper and Duke. But when we got Cooper nine years ago um, as a puppy, um, he got really, really sick, and we didn't know what was wrong with him. So we were taking him to vet after vet after vet. They were doing blood tests. They couldn't figure it out. It was like a mystery disease. Um, six months later, finally, we figured out after he had, like, he got paralyzed. I mean, he couldn't even walk at that point. We had no idea what was going on. So we finally figured out that he had, um, steroidal meningitis. So that was a, a very scary disease. Um, he actually had to be in diapers. He couldn't walk for, like, a year. <laughs> I mean, we wanted to keep him alive. We didn't want to put him down. So that was the best decision we ever made because he's still alive, and he's 10 years old today. So. Okay. Uh, Natalia, you have another minute. This is a no, two-minute. Right. Oh, my gosh. Keep going. Uh, okay. But so. six <laughs> months later. Right, right, right. He died. I thought it was a minute. Yeah, so so Cooper, um, Co <laughs> Cooper, uh, Cooper and Duke are BFFs. They can't live without each other. They're um, they're two years apart. Um, we got them, yeah, at separate times. But um, Cooper's ten, Duke is eight, and um, they, yeah, they can't live without each other. When you take one somewhere for a walk, or you take one to the vet, the other one just kind of mopes around, and um, he can't really kind of be without his brother. Uh, in the beginning, they couldn't stand each other for like the first year. Um, in fact, Duke has a huge scar on his face from when Cooper bit him once after he tried to take his food, and he was a puppy. He didn't know. But, um, yeah, so, so Duke has a huge-ass scar <laughs> still on his face from when Cooper bit him, but now they can't live without each other. So. All right, there you go, All Natalia. Right. Wake up, Fetterman. Wake Woo! up. No, I'm listening. I, was just, I just know that Danny's sister's name is... Uh, Cooper, who died from the bread. So yeah. it's weird. That yeah, was weird. Brought it, brought, yeah, brought yeah. it back. How are you all doing right yeah. now? <sighs> it's just so hard. Everything's so I miss hard. Her. I miss her all the time. I and miss and her. she was crazy white. <laughs> right, so right, right, right. Just bringing it all back for me. And didn't yeah. she bite her brother as well? Big scar in his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She was a puppy, though. They don't know. They don't, they don't know. know. What they're doing they're doing the Felicia Michaels. Um, th so it's Duke that that wore the diaper that was sick, or is it Cooper? Cooper. Cooper. Cooper so is Cooper one. still wearing the diaper? No, no, he's better now. Yeah. yeah. It How took long? a year to kind of. He wore diapers, diapers for a year. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. He couldn't walk. Nothing. What's wrong yeah. with that? And. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you change his diaper? Like, what was that protocol? Like a baby. You change it. 
you know, <laughs> like once a day. No, <laughs> but it has a tail. But there's a tail. Yeah. yeah. Well, we we cut out a hole into the diaper. <laughs> yeah. So you had to buy diaper like a, a human special? diaper. There's no puppy diapers, at least that I'm uh-huh. aware of. But uh-huh. yeah, I've we, got a guy. We made it work. We were resourceful. Wait, what do you have, Danny? I got a puppy diaper guy. If you need. <laughs> <laughs> It's downtown. You knock on the door, but mention my name. Did you ever make your husband change the dog's diaper? I don't have a husband. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Now, okay. now your we're getting significant some other. Anybody ever change uh, his diapers? I ch- I changed the diapers. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Natalia, let us hear you guys. That was Natalia. a great story. Good story. Ooh, great story. Thanks for coming back up. Walker in Hollywood. <laughs> Natalia. You know, I All like right, that guys. she just went on with the story, I though. Know. I like that. Yeah, yeah. she's got so fortitude. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. One second you're an audience member, next second you're up here. It's very difficult. I know. It's a real Lana Turner thing. All right, you guys, come to the stage right now for a true two-minute story. Put your hands together for Geezer. Woo! Come on, louder. Come on. Come on. Now tell him what to do. Spin that wheel. Birthdays. I'm the type of person that's never celebrated his own birthday. Aww. It's because I'm a ward of the state. That's true. I come from a very poor, poor family who gave me up at the age of 22. (laughs) I was playing video games. I had a girlfriend I would see on the weekend in Yonkers. It was very convenient. But I would tell you, the only thing I like to do on my birthdays is to be with a woman, have a glass of wine, and fuck. You see what I'm saying? I don't care about having a party or anything else. (laughs) But I did have this one girlfriend. Her name was Barb. Believe it or not, she had a 1940s name, Barb. Right? And... She insisted on having a birthday for me. So she said, where do you want to go? I said, either Red Lobster or Sizzler. She said, are you retarded? I'm, I'm, I'm asking you where you want to go for your birthday. I said, why? What's wrong with Red Lobster or Sizzler? And she said, half-witted morons and low IQ people eat at Red Lobster and Sizzler. And then I said to her, why are you judging the people who are eating at Red Lobster and Sizzler? You're having sex intercourse with one of them. And she she said, fine, let's go to Red Lobster and Sizzler. So we took an Uber, since I don't own a car, obviously. and, (laughs) And ultimately, we went to Red Lobster, but it was closed because there was a coronavirus scare, and that's true, and we went back home, and she made me spaghetti. Thank you! Geezer, geezer. Wow. The geezer. topic yeah. again was yeah. birthdays. Yeah. Felicia Michaels. Wow, that, that seemed like, like a little geezer. tiny bit of a struggle, right? That back kind up. of meandered that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I felt like it was actually seemed very true to me, the whole thing. It seemed like... Uh, wasn't making up any of that. I, I don't understand why you told your first story about micro penis and then now then you're you can't you're get laid studly. enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's confusing. I found the whole thing sadder than uh, shit's uh, diaper dog. To be honest yes. with you, um, yeah. it was sadder than Cooper the dog. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. Um, I'm upset. It was it like was a diaper without a hole in it. Yeah. yeah. So wait, so tell me, <laughs> the so worst cute. kind, the worst yeah. kind of diaper for yeah. dog. So tell me again. So are you still seeing this lady who doesn't like Sizzler? Who's the lucky girl? Yeah, who's the lucky girl? First of all, Wade, I don't see anyone. They see me. (laughs) Second of all, the lucky girl, the lucky girl is in the Philippines. I see her once a year. Oh. Don't judge me. In the Philippines with a 1940s American name? Barb, her parent, her father was also a Caucasian. He also took advantage of the islanders there. And I unfortunately followed in his path. And I, I am in love with a Filipina named Justina, but her real name is Barb. 
All right. Okay. But this story has more holes than a doggy diaper. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> Danny. No, I was just wondering, if, if, you know, you have probably 10 more seconds. Any yeah. group you feel you haven't offended right. tonight. Can, can, Pink can, Floyd. Uh, okay, there we go. We got Pink Floyd, uh, retards. Uh, wait, I think we got the whole thing. Yes, we got it. Yeah. All right, you guys. Geezer, let him hear it. Geezer. Nice job, brother. All right, you guys. Coming to the stage right now for a true two-minute story. This is Natalia. She was already here. Yes. Yeah, okay, we did her. So yeah. I think we'll oh, be I her twice. I wish she could come up. Oh. <laughs> I, well, no, she was audience. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's all, all right, it. you guys, come to the stage right now for a true two-minute story. Don Brody. Oh, uh, boy. An amazing talent. Don Brody. She won this oh, game here she comes. Three times before. Tell her what to do. Spin that wheel. Look at her go. Oh, this ah. is exciting. She landed on audience. And if anybody can pull this off, it's, it's Don Brody. The oh Don Brody. No kidding. You guys, if you have any particular story you'd like to hear, this is your opportunity to shout that out, and our judges will choose one. How about you guys over here? STD Scare. STD <gasps> Scare. It's like you know me. IKEA Adventures. Islands. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Jesus. Too soon. <laughs> If I if I die when I die I will say that I wouldn't mind it being by private helicopter. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because then I'd ha I'd have a private. Way to turn the crowd. Uh, Way to turn the crowd. <laughs> Anybody over here? What do you guys want to hear? I can't wait to see your your two you man to... show with Geezer. <laughs> you can do a show and offend everybody. All right, we got IKEA Adventures. We have Kobe Bryant. We have Islands. STD scare. STD scare. STD scare. I think that. What do you right, think? Right. Yeah, I mean, you have one. It's I a mean, win it's a oh, winner. Yeah. All right, big round of applause for Don Brody, you guys. Okay. Over here, big round Hi. of applause. <laughs> All right. All right. Talk about a yeast infection. I won't tell the bread story again. I promise. Um, <laughs> so uh, I did quite a lot of fucking in my twenties, and um, yeah. thank you. And I, not that you only get STD scares or STDs when you do a whole lot of fucking, but it is when you tend to go to bed at night being like, uh oh, <laughs> right? I should check it out. And so uh, I, I was about twenty-eight, and I was doing a lot of fucking uh, actors. I was fucking actors, which are filthy, and I was fucking um, people. <laughs> who live on houseboats because I lived on houseboats better than actors on the Mississippi River so dirt, like river rat dirt bags just like slime balls or actors or just people I met so <laughs> uh oh uh, so <laughs> I among the sleepless nights not just because I lived on a boat I was like I mean, I gotta have one of these STDs probably and so I went to Planned Parenthood and was like let's just do that like right I'm sure we've all been there. <laughs> Let's just do this. Let's pull off the veil. And so they took my butt and they said, okay, you'll get a thing in a couple of mm, weeks probably because it's Planned Parenthood and they're woefully underfunded. But um, I got the thing in the mail finally and it was three pages, single spaced, both sides of every STD known to man in alphabetical order. Fucking actors. I know! <laughs> Fucking act, exactly. And it, it was started with AIDS, and it ended with this, like, Zepha, something it ends up, it's a fungus kind of thing. I was like, holy shit, and I'm in a blind panic. Like, I have them all, you know? <laughs> I had already kind of accepted I might have one, but I have all of them. Fuck me. I kept, I kept turning the page over like, fuck it, hey. Um, and then I saw that there was just one that had a little <laughs> tick mark next to it. Uh, <laughs> and it was a tick mark next to HPV, which everyone has. So it's not oh, a big deal. Yeah. All right, Don Brody. Don, I a love lot it. of honesty. I think that was very straightforward. I liked it. I don't know if you know this. If you uh, fuck... Ten actors, you're SAG eligible. <laughs> <laughs> they get I heard that. Partly. I heard that. Yeah, you do. That's how I got into SAG. Keep your insurance. <laughs> yeah, you keep your insurance. <laughs> you get Taft Hartley, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Felicia yeah. Michaels. <laughs> I thought it was an excellent story, and uh, you know, you were brave about it. Yeah. You admitted fucking actors. Although I liked Steam. Uh, Boat captain sounded kind of hot. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was an excellent story. Yes, it ended well. I loved it. Danny Zucker. That was that was the dawn I know. I mean, I mean, look now that now that you've had like a great story, we need to talk about the bread story because that was such a disaster. No, calm down. She needs to hear this. She won't get better. We can coddle her and give her a participation trophy, or we can be honest. But you fucking rocked that story. 
it was it great was story. it was great. It was oh, yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering. Well, I was wondering when you were looking at that list and you thought you had them all. Like once you have AIDS, you don't have to worry about chlamydia. <laughs> I know. Not, right. Herpes is nothing after yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! And crabs. Uh, well, what? It's yeah. the worst day of my life. Don Brody, let her hear it, you guys. That was a great story. All right, you guys, two more She's people. Amazing. Two more people coming up for a true two-minute story. And the next person coming to the stage is the one and only Rachel D. Woo! Yeah, All right, you guys, let her hear it. Tell her what to do. I hope I finish my story. You got two minutes. You're going to make it. Here she goes. I like that everyone has the exact same music. Break up. Okay, some people don't know when they're broken up with, right? Some people don't know. Uh, so I was sleeping over at this dude's house, and, 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 and I was naked in his bed, and it was like 3 a.m., and we heard a tap, tap, tapping at his window. Like, all of his windows. <laughs> over and over again, and then all of a sudden we heard, Eric! Eric, let me in! Yeah, and I was like, who's that? And then we heard, you got a bitch in there? Yeah, right? And at, at that point, he said, I'm going to call the cops again. I'm like, holy fuck, who am I in bed with? What's going on? Right? And then, and then he said, and I'm calling the cops. So he's calling the cops. And then she's banging on the window. You guys, this window was a triple pane window. But this woman, with her bare hands, broke down that window. Right? I know. And as a feminist, I was finding that empowering. Um, <laughs> women really can do anything men can do, right? <laughs> given enough meth. And <laughs> so at this point, I was realizing two things. Like, one, I was naked, okay? And two, I'd broken my toe that night on a lime scooter, uh, but I somehow managed to, like, wrap myself in a quilt and hop my ass out of bed, like, to the safest place I could think of, which was the attic... Guys, there are no exits in an attic. But somehow he managed to subdue this woman, okay? And uh, like keep her from, from attacking me. She, she was down to attack me, not him. But she bit him in three places and gave him a black eye in the process. Whoa. I know. He likes it way rougher than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> right? And, and then at the end, when the cops came and they asked me what was going on, I got the impression that they were like, Wow, uh, Eric's ex is a Ferrari model. This is the new girlfriend? <laughs> Rachel D. Wow. Two minutes exactly. Yeah. Adorable. Yes. You're adorable. Way yes. to go. Wayne Fetterman. I don't know. Tell me, I don't know what is a Ferrari model. What does that mean? Uh, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a model that drapes herself over sports cars. And oh, they take I got it. That's exactly yeah. what you know it is. Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah I was like. No, because, yeah. He directed used... the White Snake videos. He <laughs> right, knows I know this. <laughs> Because I've been dating some Ford Focus models who are <laughs> incredible. It's different. <laughs> well, I was wondering when she knocked on the window, if you for a second were like, "Oh, thank God she said his name." Now I now I know it. <laughs> oh! Eric, Eric, That's Eric. Good. Eric That's yes. Good. Now Eric. we all know. Fucking no, Eric. We all know. Danny Zucker. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was like, uh, everything, um, I, I like the whole arc of it, and then it went to sort of an Anne Frankie place. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, you know, I just watched Jojo Rabbit again, and the whole thing it just felt very, I don't know, as a Jew, um, it felt empowering, and I've never had a woman uh, love me enough to break three panes of glass, I so know, this right? guy must have been amazing. Um, yeah. Uh, too bad you let him. Did you let him get away? Oh, no, 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 no. He's into crazy bitches. We're together. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Good, is Eric here? Is Eric is here? Is Eric here? No, he's uh, not. You want, you want to lock that shit down, though. Anybody's <laughs> doing that. I'm giving you some advice. That's a winner. That is a winner. Good yeah. job. Rachel hey, D, let her hear it. Rachel Yay, D. Rachel. All right, you guys. This is our final contestant coming up for a true two-minute story. I know story. who it is. I, I know who it is, is, too. It's the one and only Samson McCormick. Come on up, Samson. All right, you guys. Tell him what to do. Oh, that was good. Samson paces back and forth pensively, listening to the music. Uh-oh, audience is coming. 
Oh. Audience. Oh, Audience. it's so exciting. I love this so part of the show. So they get to pick a story. Such a great know that idea. I love this. I what do you guys want to do you guys want to do STD scare. Over here. Pepsi. Super Bowl. Pepsi. <laughs> and it, up. Hooking up. And no, no, wait, that's already on the wheel. Anything else back there? <gasps> rim, rim job? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, boy. Is that? Natalia, rim? you're not allowed to yell out things. <laughs> what do you guys want to hear right here? Se- sorry? Operation. First job. What? First date fails. Anything over here? S- uh, Australia bushfires. Starting bushfires. Bushfires, you say? That, no way. Come on. I, I'm uncomfortable uh, with uh, uh, Rick Wilson, who likes comedy here. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with you uh, saying first jobs after someone shouted rim job. I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. <laughs> Look, All right, what do you guys want to hear over here? Come on. First day in L.A. You guys? Yep. Nothing. First laugh you ever got. Mm. I don't know. I mean, what do you think, know. Wayne? I don't know. I, I, I go like to look at the contestant and see if he's... Did any one of those spark to you? Did anything spark? I'm going to give you a Could you little... two look into his eyes and say rim job together? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, I actually got a rim job. Story. Oh, let's do it. Oh, okay. Let's hear it, you guys. Give him a big round of applause. Guys, Sam McCormick. I, 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 teach he, I teach Hebrew school. Keep it clean. <laughs> Keep it clean. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, this is fun. Who said rim job? Okay. So uh, so I got booked at this uh, Airbnb, right? So I went to the Airbnb. And uh, whenever I go to like my hotels or Airbnbs, I like to like get high and watch Investigation Discovery, right? <laughs> so I took some edibles and I'm looking at <laughs> Investigation Discovery and they had this story on there about this dude that was installing these cameras like in hotel rooms and stuff, mm-hmm. watching women go to the bathroom. So I got paranoid, right? So I'm walking around and I go in my bathroom and in the bathroom on the toilet there is a web webcam on the toilet. Oh my god. Or no. A, yes, there's a webcam on the toilet. So I automatically I get paranoid. I pick up the phone. I start making calls. I called the lady who owned the Airbnb and I was like, I don't appreciate you wanting to look up my ass. I'm calling the police. This shit is wrong. She was like, Sir, I need you to calm down. I was like, why? She said, because that's not a webcam in your toilet. You have a bidet, right? <laughs> so I was insulted. I was like, you know, you have a good day too, bitch. So, <laughs> so I've always wanted to like experience. Y'all know what bidets are, right? I've always wanted to like experience one of these things. So y'all, I, um, I took off all my clothes. Right? <laughs> and I turned off all the lights and... Uh, I sat on this bidet, and y'all, these functions. They had this one function on there that oscillated with hot water, another one that vibrated with cool water, then this other function on there that blew you off. And y'all, by the time I got up off that toilet, I was ready to smoke a cigarette, okay? Because I have never had a rim job electronically before, okay? Samson McCormick. Wow. Great story. Dude. One minute and 54 seconds. That was amazing. Was Wayne like, Fetterman. Oh, it was like he pulled out his Comedy Central special. That was incredible. Oh, that was... Uh, that was... <laughs> like the whole bit was all set. It was, it was awful. It was, awful. It was like a John Mulaney run. That was incredible. Yeah. yeah. Felicia Michaels. I just cannot believe this guy wanted to hear about his first job. That was some complete horse shit with that beautiful story there. <laughs> They do blow you off, as it were. Yeah, no, they do. I uh, share your love for these. I discovered one of these in, I was in Australia, and there was, I was in a hotel, and it was like, this became the best relationship of my life, that thing. And I was going to see that night in Sydney, Bruce Springsteen. And you know Bruce Springsteen, and so he's playing in Sydney, so I went to see him, and, um, you know, Bruce, it's a four-hour concert, they say, but like, Two hours of it is in like telling stories, mm-hmm. and they're crazy stories that don't amount to anything. And then he goes into like, <laughs> anyway, this is a story about juju bees, and he goes in. Anyway, he did a tight ten minutes because apparently he was staying at the same hotel, and he 
did one of those Bruce Springsteen lead-ups about how amazing this toilet that oscillated up his ass was. So you, me, and the boss all share this. We see it in. Boom. Wow. That's nice. Felicia, what else? Well, I, I, I believe, uh, Danny, 100%, because when you first said the word bidet, he went, yeah. <laughs> so I believe it. I believe it. Great story. I loved it. Anything else, Fetterman? No, no, no. I'm just, I, I, I don't like to picture this, but it was a good story. Do you enjoy a bidet? Do you enjoy a bidet? Of course I don't. I don't know any... (laughs) I'm old school with the paper. I like the old school paper. He's being shy right now. I have first-hand information. What? He loves it. Samson McCormick, let him hear it, you guys. All right. All right, Thank you, Samson. It's all he talks about at Hebrew school. (laughs) This is getting more and more exciting. Now, you guys have the very challenging uh, job. How long do we have to make this decision? you got one minute. Take two of those names, put it in there, start the clock. Here we go. I don't even know what to Uh, do. You guys, I want to give a big applause to Rick in the back, helping me on sound. Thank you, Rick. (laughs) And there's Julie at the bar working very hard, as you know. Thank you, Julie. Tip her well. Lindsay at the box office. Man, oh man, that girl's amazing. Say goodbye on your way out. And guess what? Lindsay will sell you a ticket to the very next Story Smash on Saturday, March 28th, right back here in the lab at 7.30. And get this, we've got another Story Smash coming up. It's the East Side. It's going to be at the Lyric Hyperion Cafe on April 4th. Blaine Kapatch will be there. Matt Oswalt will be there. Brian Finkelstein will be there. Oh, that's a... I know. Lauren Reeves. It's all very exciting. So that's a benefit for the Lyric High period on April 4th. It's a Saturday night at 9 o'clock as well. Uh, all right. How are we doing? Okay. You guys, you've yeah. got five made seconds. A decision. You have made a decision. And what was it difficult? Yes. Yeah. We want Natalia to go twice. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I just okay. want... I... I, I um... I don't agree with the decision these guys made. <laughs> <laughs> My Felicia, was a hard decision for you? First time it, playing. It, uh, it was, uh, for, as a first time player, it was the easiest and hardest decision of my life. <laughs> how, did, how can it be both? Well, because everyone uh, told such good stories and it was also fun to roll around when people told not so good stories. Sorry, yeah. teaser. Yeah. <laughs> Said with love. Don't get all no, fucking no, judgmental. No. Said with love. No, no sacred cows. All right, you this guys. was a good group. I will yeah, say that. This, a was, this, was, this was not an easy decision to yeah. make. Yeah, great group tonight here at Story Smash. Thank you guys again for coming up, coming out. Uh, right now, you guys, we're going to hear a true story from a three-minute a three minute true story. Oh, guess what? Guess who's playing? Rachel D. Come God, on up, guys. Rachel D. Yeah. Tell her what to do, everybody. Spin that wheel. wheel. Here she goes. Come on, Rachel, prove me wrong. Now, she already landed on this, didn't you? Okay, so spin again. Re-spin. Spin that wheel. wheel. Re-spin that wheel. Again. Yeah, I like the enthusiasm. Oh, boy, here we go. She has landed on an audience. She's landed on audience. Now, we want four suggestions, very Uh clean. One. Which one you want? Not in the good one. Bondage. Bondage. (laughs) Two. Prom. Prom. Bondage prom. What else? I remember my bondage prom. I have Catholic, a nice Catholic, school. Catholic school. Catholic school. Oh, Catholic school. What else? <laughs> what? Experience with the police. Okay. Catholic school. Catholic school or bondage. Or, or bondage. Uh, which one do you want to tell? Well, that's always the same story. It the is. Catholic school bondage. If you could <laughs> put them together, I might Let's have to Catholic school. excuse Let's myself for a couple <laughs> seconds. Right. Now, for some... Uh, Oscillating but <laughs> My favorite <laughs> my Catholic favorite school. search category. Catholic. What's it gonna be? Come on guys. Catholic bondage. School. Catholic, Catholic school or bondage? Catholic yeah. school. Yeah, if yeah, she yeah. can add in bondage, right. great. But if Catholic not, school, if you can throw in like somebody whipping somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Let her hear it, you guys. Big That's round Catholic of applause. school, right? Rachel D. Let her <laughs> oh, okay. hear it. Round of applause. All right, guys. Okay. So yeah, I was a Catholic school teacher. I did find it fulfilling to inspire so many young men's wet dreams. Um but I was actually fired for doing stand-up comedy from a Catholic school. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And it was crazy because it was at the end of the school day. The bell had rung. The kids are still packing up their bags and everything. And I hear over the intercom, could Rachel D. please report to the principal's office? (laughs) I know, you guys, I don't care how old you are. That's terrifying. Okay. (laughs) 
<laughs> so I went, and the HR lady was in the principal's office. And they said, oh, good, good, good. We have a YouTube video we'd like to review with you. <laughs> yeah, it's called Kill Tony. <laughs> we all, guys, if you don't know, it's not a video where I killed a child. Okay, those are just fantasies. But... <laughs> Uh, so we sat down and we watched the video together, which is horrifying for any comedian, let alone in front of your HR uh, lady and the British cunt of a principal I had. And uh, the joke that I got fired for, because it was just one joke, and, and, and it, it goes like this. Okay, so I'm 40, and when you're 40, you're horny all the time. Like, it feels like I have an 18-year-old boy inside me. <laughs> Like, I'd like an 18-year-old boy inside me. <laughs> and people are like 18, they don't even know what they're doing. That's fine, I got that because I'm a teacher. Like, you know, mm, I know. Yeah, right? I know. And, and, and then she, my principal said to me, you realize we're going to have to terminate you for this. I know. I was like, wait, 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 I have funnier jokes. Like, we can... <laughs> look up something else. I... She's like, no, 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 your students don't feel safe around you anymore. And I was like, this is an all-girls school. I... <laughs> right? I was like so confused because, you know, I was like, I didn't think I was going to be fired because Mr. Lubachik, the band teacher, still had his job and, and he married his former student like three days after she graduated. I was like, they still feel safe around Mr. Lubachik? Like, but, uh, yeah... So I was fired by the Catholic Church for joking about wanting to sleep with adults. <laughs> so honestly, when she told me that, I was like, but, but you guys, can't we just like do what you do with the priests and like not tell anyone and move me to another school? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. Thank you. Rachel D. <laughs> All right. Great story. Great was, ending. Yeah. Danny Zucker. Do you think had you made the boy fourteen, you might still <laughs> have your job? I know, right? You're gonna get exactly. promoted. You're gonna yeah. Get promoted. Yeah. 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 I um. I like you know. I like that story. I like your use of uh, spacing and pauses <laughs> to fill out that. But it was like a. <laughs> They they, were and this real that and, and they li they literally fired you over a stand up that so that one is joke. really the because I know that Kill Tony show that yep. and, uh, wow yep one joke yep that is cr how long ago did this happen uh two years ago that sucks yep. I was teaching at that school for ten years this is like the wow. worst thing that can you say the name of the school no I cannot Are because you they litigation? paid me not to oh you N D eight uh huh what's it mean that's I'm you've just broken it with. Tonight, just so you know. No, uh, no I didn't. I sh I've checked. I you did have? not. No. Oh. I've checked. <laughs> uh, an NDA, non disclosure. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. And so that's. Uh, you guys are silent, you know. You, shh. <laughs> Felicia, I, I was just thinking, like, uh, in 20 years, should you run for president? That story will not be heartwarming. Like, I was pregnant from Oklahoma, like Elizabeth Warren, but I thought it was a good story. I mean, I thought you looked at the uh, clock a little much on oh, that okay. story, but, uh, uh, you know, other than that, I thought, hey, it's a good story, and uh, I'm sorry that that happened to you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Fetterman? Well, I just I have just so many questions about mm -hmm. like you were there ten years teaching. Yes. And what did you teach? What, are you I allowed taught to say? literature. What? Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, they should have. <laughs> yeah, what about <laughs> like free Hawthorne? speech? And all like that? Hawthorne? <laughs> huh? Like what? Hawthorne? Hawthorne? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, not not my favorite, but uh, yeah, I did teach <laughs> British liter. I taught British literature, and oh. then I taught freshman English. So yeah. Can you teach us anything now in, let's say, 20 seconds? 20 seconds? Yeah, can you? Okay, you guys, Coughlin, put 20 I, seconds on the clock. 20 seconds? About teach, teach us something. You, teach you something? Go. Oh, okay. You guys know about the Oxford comma? Oh, <laughs> do I? Do I? I want to hear more. Oh. I mean, it yeah. is up for debate, isn't yeah. it? It is yeah. up for debate. Like, you know, do we like it? Do we not like it? You know, if you don't know what an Oxford comma is, uh, it's an annoying piece of punctuation that is only interesting to nerds. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's the comma that goes before the and. Fuck that comma. Yeah. By the way, this is, and I just wanted to just say, uh, you're a survivor. This is the worst thing I've ever heard the Catholic Church do. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> 
Rachel D, let her hear you guys. Rachel D, Rachel D. Amazing story, really great. All right, you guys, one more storyteller coming up for the evening, and I couldn't be more excited to announce that person, and that is Samson McCormick. Samson yeah. McCormick. All right, you guys, tell him what to do. Spin, Spin that, that wheel. wheel. Here he goes. Not doing the pace. Not doing the pace. No, it's doing good. He's in the zone. Good Samson, spin. you don't have Samson, to. Samson, what are you hoping for? What are you hoping for, Samson? You don't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's that cool. He's so cool. Oh. Drunk tank. Drunk tech? Tank. Oh, what the? Okay. Drunk oh, tank. okay. A drunk story? Man. Yeah, but make it loose. That does not mean you had to be arrested for it. Either. Right. Hmm. Also, do you have any Coke? <laughs> Maybe. No, just me. Uh can it it can be about anything drunk? Sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll allow it. <laughs> Do you not drink? Oh, I drink. Okay. okay. But I never like I can drink and drive a school bus home, so I don't get in trouble when I drink. Um Okay. So I tell you about my uh okay, my I come from a family of drinkers. Um, cause I'm, I'm, uh, my family is, is from North Carolina. So my granddaddy used to make a uh, moonshine, right? Y'all know about moonshine. He used to make it in the backyard. And, uh, so I like to go visit my family because of my favorite aunt Jackie. Right. And I think we all got that aunt Jackie. My aunt Jackie is that relative who's never invited to anything. <laughs> right. But she shows up anyway. <laughs> you know, and when she shows up, she shows up loud, drunk, late, you know, she'll come in tell everybody's business, start a big fight, make a big plate, and leave. That's my Aunt Jackie, <laughs> right? And uh, so, <laughs> so she's never invited to anything, so, you know, she'll show up late st and stuff, you know, and she'll come, and she, like, always, um, she'll, like, announce herself, like, with a, by stubbing her toe in the front yard on something, so she'll get out her car, you know, and you'll hear her, like, because she wears, like, these bedroom slippers all the time. So, you know, he, he, she'll stub her toe, she'll be like, shit! The fuck y'all got out here some teeth? You know, and so <laughs> she'll come on in the house, you know, and be like, hey, what's up, Aunt Jackie? She'll be like, don't hide me. Where the food? Be like, the food ain't done yet. The food ain't done yet. Who in there cooking? We're like, oh, uh, Aunt Gloria. And she don't like Aunt Gloria. You know, she'll be like, Gloria. Y'all know that bitch can't cook, you know. <laughs> so she might go over and there might be like uh, some sweet potato pie or something. So, uh, or a banana pudding. She'll just put her finger in it and be like, oh, banana pudding. I love banana pudding. Like, who made that banana pudding? And somebody will raise their hand and be like, don't make that shit no more. So <laughs> the last time that I was in North Carolina, uh, I was down there. And, uh, you know, when you walk in, like, this looks good in L.A., Okay, but uh, in North Carolina, like if you walk in and they see this, they think you're dying, right? <laughs> so they're asking me all these questions. They're like, you got cancer? You're stressed out? You're using condoms? And, uh, and so, uh, so it was like, you need to go eat. So, you know, my favorite food is sweet potato pie, right? So I go in and I'm like eating the sweet potato pie and my uncle is looking at me like, that pie good, ain't it? And I'm like, yeah, you're like, keep on eating. You look bad already. So I go in, <laughs> eat some more pie. And then next thing I know, I look up, I've eaten an entire sweet potato pie by myself, right? And uh, they started talking about me. So my uncle was like, see that? I tell you that boy don't eat. That boy ate a whole sweet potato pie. That boy ate a sweet potato pie whole. And my Aunt Jackie came in there with her Hennessy in her hand and her cigarette. She was like, he did what? That boy ate a sweet potato pie whole. She was like, that's better than the kind of holes you be eating. And that's my aunt. Samson McCormick. God. Perfect time, 2.58. Yeah. Wayne Fetterman. That was like a, that was like a PBS special. Uh, <laughs> That was uh, Lake Wogo, Lob what is yeah, it? Yeah, Wobegon. Yeah, Wobegon. <laughs> like a Lake in North Carolina. That was incredible. Thank you, Felicia Michaels. Um, I, everyone has that aunt. Mine is Aunt Dorothy. Yeah, oh. who used to try to make me eat okra and called my mom a whore. Oh. I love that story and fuck your aunt. That's yes. how I feel. Yeah. Yes. All right, Danny Zucker. I was mostly struck by I think in a couple ways. <laughs> You and I have different 
families. <laughs> and I think, uh, I, I was trying to find the Venn diagram of where my cold, desperately trying not to be Jewy, acting waspy family, <laughs> never saw anyone drunk or show love at all. And, uh, and, and then your family, where people are just walking in in slippers, and I don't know, I just was sitting here just consumed with jealousy. Yeah. <laughs> Truly. But it's more about me. But you did paint a picture of your, like I felt like I was there. Yeah. Like I could smell the sweet tea. Yeah, it was great. Wayne Fetterman. <laughs> no, I have nothing else to say. I was just, I, I yeah. like that, uh, the world we went into a little bit. Yeah. yeah, the North Carolina. Just drawn in. Yeah, beautiful. Thanks, Sam's. All right, you guys. Samson yes. McCormick, let yes. him hear it. Yes. Well, this is very exciting. We have got a real competition on our hands. You guys now have to choose the winner of Story Smash. Okay. We're going to put a minute on the clock, and you guys have one minute to choose the winner, who will come back next month on March 28th. And I also wanted to no, think of a few more people. You can't pick Geezer. You can't pick Geezer. He's already Fine. Can I write in Geezer? Fine. Fine. Julie at the bar. Thank you, Julie. Rick in the back. Thank you, Rick. Jim Coughlin right here in front of me. He helps me every month. Come on. Round of applause. This thing, it takes a village, you guys. This is not easy. And a big round of applause for everybody who played tonight. Don the amazing. Big round of applause. Come on, guys. Geezer, he was great. Natalia in the back. Of course, uh, of course, Rachel D. And Samson McCormick. Amazing. And guess what? The winner tonight, you guys, I don't even think I told you, but the winner gets my homemade chocolate chip cookies. These, I just baked them this morning, for Christ's sake. So I yeah. swear to God, they're very, very good. And again, this performer is going to come back next month and play again on March 28th. It's one minute now, exactly. We got and, uh, it. We got and we're going to announce the winner. I'm going to let I'm going to let Felicia Michaels do it. First me, time it's, judge. It's Please give much. her a round of applause. Felicia First time Michaels. judge. It's too much pressure for me. The winner. I hope not the last time. I'm going to hang on okay. one second. An absolute delight. Hold on one second, Felicia. A hard decision, Danny? Yes. It was. Wayne, was it hard? No. <laughs> Felicia Michaels, who's the winner of Story Smash? Well, how can it be and none other than the person that talked about selling Coke at Mar-a-Lago, <laughs> about the bidet and the rim job, <laughs> and about his fucking ang. Please give it up for Sam Samson Samson yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That was the best I know. Super Felicia hurt. Michaels, Wayne Fetterman. My name is Christine Blackberry. Good night. Caregivers, are you and the person you care for not satisfied with your current home care agency? Then you need to call Help at Home as we offer the highest paid wages, weekly pay, overtime pay, benefits, and do not forget paid time off. Help at Home is actively recruiting caregivers who are caring for a loved one. We make changing agencies quick and easy. Call one of our care professionals now at 412-784-6711. That's 412-784-6711 or go to helpathomepa.com. I want to advance my nursing career, but I can't stop working and spend a lot of money to earn a degree. My family and my patients need me. At WGU, I can earn a Master of Science in Nursing while juggling my busy life. At WGU, we hear you. That's why we've built a nonprofit online university around you. Here, you set the deadlines, you take courses on your time, and you take the tests when you're ready. WGU, the university of you. Learn more at WGU.edu.